We are going to work on a content slide. Click on the plus sign to add a new slide. The default will be a text slide. Now, you might want to work in a little more space, so drag this little divider down so you get more space. You can see now that we're trying to edit text, we have all of our editing formatting toolbar available. We're going to add a title. Remember, everything on the slide is for audience consumption, so let's use proper title case. Now I'm going to add my main points. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Now I want to add some details. So under evaporation, I want to create a new line, so I click at the end of the evaporation line, press enter, and that adds a new line. Now here's a detail, liquid changing to gas. And an example, a puddle dries up in the sun. Okay, the fact is this gets a little bit hard to tell what the main points and what the sub points are. So let's add some bullets and a little bit of organization. I need to select all of these lines so that I can add bullets to them. So I click and drag from top to bottom. Now I've selected all the lines. I don't have to select every part of every line. Now the bullet point buttons that we'll be needing are, uh, they start over here, but our toolbar has been split, so we've got a couple of other buttons over on this side. Um, the first thing we are going to do is add bullets by clicking on the bulleted list button. And now we've got some nice little bullets. Uh, I'm going to call this type of bullet the main point bullet. And now I need to do something with my sub points. Now I'm going to deselect the five lines and select just the two sub point lines. Now that I have those two selected, I'm going to use my uh, formatting buttons again. I'm actually going to click on the increase indent button. See the little arrow pointing to the right? When I click on increase indent, it bumps in. Uh, those two details, so now they become subordinate to the main point. And it turns into a nice little organizational pattern. I might want to see how this looks uh, for my audience. So I'm going to click on Start Presentation to see how this looks to my audience. There's my title slide. All right, now we can see how we have our main points, and those are offset from our details and sub points by uh, an indent as well as a smaller font size and a different bullet. Looks pretty nice. When we're done checking it out, we close this window and go back to our editing view. Time for us to add the rest of our details and change those to the sub point bullet. And now we have completed a content slide with bulleted main points and sub points.